back to my channel, Beauty in the Bible, where we love Jesus and all things beauty. Um, I'm sorry, I've been out. I was sick for the better part of last week, and I know I have not uploaded a dang thing for you guys, so we're going to be doing that today, and we're going to pick up in our Genesis to Revelation series. We are in Genesis 4, and this is where we're going to be reading about Cain killing and murdering Abel. So this is going to be, this is right after the fall, things are starting to get a little messy. So let's open in a word of prayer, and we will go ahead and start. Uh, Father God, thank you for your divine providence. Thank you for being present with us here today, and that your shelter and comfort and protection are always with us. You are always with us, Lord. And um, help us to be reminded of your goodness as we read about the actions of these horrific historical figures. Lord, we mess up so much. And uh, let us just be reminded how good you are and that you are the one that we are striving to be like. And we ask these things all in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Cain murders Abel. The man was intimate with his wife Eve and she gave, uh, conceived and gave birth to Cain. She said, I have had a male child with the Lord's help. She also gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel became a shepherd of flocks, but Cain worked the ground. In the course of time, Cain presented some of the land's produce as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also presented an offering, some of the firstborn of his flock and their fat portions. The Lord had regard for Abel and his offering but he did not have regard for Cain and his offering. Cain was furious, and he looked despondent. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you furious, and why do you look despondent? If you do what is right, won't you be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's guardian? Then he said, What have you done? Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed alienated from the ground that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood you have shed. If you work the ground, it will never again give you its yield. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. But Cain answered the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear. Since you are banishing me today from the face of the earth, and I must hide from your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth, whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord replied to him, In that case, whoever kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. And he placed a mark on Cain's it, so that whoever found him would not kill him. Then Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain was intimate with his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to Enoch. Then Cain became the builder of the city, and he named the city Enoch after his son. Uh, for clarification, this is not the Enoch um, that the book of Enoch is writing, is, is talking about. So this is a different Enoch. This is um, Cain's child, Enoch. Then Cain became the builder of the city and named the city Enoch after his son. Irad was born to Enoch. Irad fathered Meth Meth Mehula. The, these genealogies are going to be tough, guys. Work with me. <laughs> Irad fathered Mahuel. Ma 
Mahuel fathered Meth- Methushael, and Methushael fathered Lamech. Lamech took two wives for himself, one named Ada, the other named Zillah. Ada bore Jabal, Jabal. He was the father of the nomadic herdsmen. His brother was named Jubal. He was the father of all who played the lyre and the flute. Zillah bore Tubal Cain, who made all kinds of bronze and iron tools. Tubal Cain's sister was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, wives of Lamech. Pay attention to my words, for I killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is to be avenged seven times over, then for Lamech it will be seventy-seven times. Adam was intimate with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth. For she said, God has given me another child in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. As son, a son was born to Seth, and also he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. And today I leave you with this question, something to ponder. Why is it, do you think, that Abel's offering was more pleasing to the Lord? What is it about that interaction with God and that offering of God, where God says to Cain later, if you do what is right, won't you also be accepted? So what is it about Cain's offering that is not right versus Abel's offering that is right? And I want you to think about this and uh, make that up, make that, make that up, excuse me, and make up your own mind for yourself. Okay, and with that, I will see you all on Sunday. You have a blessed rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.